Now we will go to SPRO, click on the preference IMG, and then under financial accounting, accounts receivable and accounts payable, supplier accounts, business transactions, outgoing payments, outgoing payments, global settings. We can select here the customizing step called define accounts for cash discount take. So this we would utilize if we are using the so-called gross method. So meaning that in this case, our cash discount is not already posted when we post the invoice, but only later when we post the actual payment for the invoice. So let's click on this one, insert our chart of accounts, and you can see here this certain account called cash discount received will be derived. Let's write this down over here. So for cash discount received, we got the account 740,000. And then let's go back and also check the income and payments global settings. Define accounts for cash discount granted. Our chart of accounts is selected. And here we got the other one. So here we are looking at the other direction. Cash discount expenses is 710. 50,000. So the former one is the case where we receive a cash discount, while the latter one is the case where we need to grant a cash discount since our customer paid in time. And as said, the cash discount is deducted at payment and not when we create the invoice. Now let's look at the other method. So the net method. And here in the customizing, we go out of the incoming payments and to incoming invoices, credit memos. And here you can see define account for net procedure. For our chart of accounts, we hit on enter. And here you can see the account that will be derived if we are utilizing the net procedure for our cash discounts. So in this case, the system will post to a so-called cash discount clearing account. So what does this actually mean? Imagine we post an invoice with the net procedure. Then the system will deduct the cash discount amount from the amount posted to the expense or stock account. And to clear this deduction, the system will post the difference to this account over here. So this is done when the invoice is posted and you will see this also in a second. However, when the invoice is then cleared with the payment, then this cash clearing account will also be cleared. And then there is a special case. So let's imagine that with the net procedure, as you know, by now, we will already post the cash discount with the invoice. And let's imagine a scenario where we have an invoice with a cash discount of 2% that was posted. However, we paid the vendor too late. So meaning that we can't actually deduct 2% of the payment anymore. Let's check this in the system where we can define this account. So here we go back and then we go to the outgoing payments and here to this tab called define accounts for lost cash discount. Hit on enter and here you can see the system would then post to this account over here. We will include this account in our notes. Okay, that's it for the account determination. Next off, let me quickly show you two other things and then we will start with the practical part. So let's go out of the business transactions and here now in the financial accounting global settings, document types, define document types. Over here you can see the document types defined by SAP and here you can see there's one called invoice gross and the other one is called invoice net. So the invoice gross, if we double click, this one is actually used if we use the gross procedure for our discount calculation. As you can see, this button over here is not selected. However, if we check the other one called invoice net, then you can see the button here selected. Let's actually click on this button and display the help. And here you can see if we set this indicator, then the system will automatically deduct cash discount from vendor invoices that are posted with this document type. So all depends on the document type. There's one more setting via the company code data. So if we go back and back again and here into the global parameters for company code, enter global parameters and then double click on our company code. Here you can see there's also something called discount base is net value. Right now it's not selected. So meaning that the discount base is the gross value. And if we also display here the help functionality, then you can see that if this indicator would be set, then the sales tax would not be contained in the base amount for the discount calculation. So this also corresponds with our gross and net procedure for the discount calculation because if we choose the gross procedure, we should not select this indicator over here. So that this aligns with the sales tax for the discount calculation. And if we use the net procedure, then we should check here also this checkbox so that it is aligned with the net procedure. So far, so good. Let's go now into the system to see this in action. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will actually do this in Fiori right now, so I will switch the screen. We will start now here in Fiori with the gross method. So we will create a purchase order via manage purchase orders. We will click on create. We need to provide the supplier and the currency purchasing group. And then here in the item section, we will click on create and then we will choose a material. So for now, we'll take a trading good order quantities, let's say one and net order price is 15. Let's actually navigate into this line item and check what fields are missing. So there's one error message. Let's navigate into this one. We will deselect here this indicator and that's basically it. Click on apply. And last but not least, 
we will make sure that under delivery and invoice, we will set a certain payment term considering discounts. So as you can see here, if we pay within 13 days, we will receive a 2% discount. Okay, so far so good. We will now click on order and you can see the purchase order was created. So please be aware that for the gross method, it actually makes no difference whether we use a material that is valued at the moving average price or the standard price. However, for the net procedure, this will make a difference. You will see this in a second as well. So let's now copy the purchase order and go to post goods received for purchasing document. Enter the purchasing document. We will include our storage location and also make sure to mark the material and hit on post. Now the material document was also created. Click on OK. Next off, we will post the invoice via create supplier invoice. Select this one. Now we will insert an invoice date, a reference, and let's scroll down a bit. The invoicing party is our business partner. Let's scroll down a bit more. Here we will insert the purchase order. You can see, of course, we have a balance. So we will scroll up and insert here 1785. Just click on check. Now all is green. Let's now click on simulate. And as you can see, as of now, the system would only post a debit to the goods received invoice received account so that it's cleared and an input tax on the debit side. And on the credit side, we have our reconciliation account stored in our vendor master. So there is no discount posted yet with the invoice posting using the gross method. We will now click on post and you can see the supply invoice was posted successfully. Do you want to create a new invoice? No. So far so good. We will now actually go to the payment. So we go to manage automatic payments. Here we'll click on create parameter, identification and create. The company code is 1010. Our next payment date. Now this is really important for the invoice to be considered. We will say the next payment date is let's say next month like that. The payment method, we will choose the SEPA credit transfer and we will choose our supplier. And that's basically it. Additional lock is set to on. Small mistake, we will set here the next posting date to June like that. And that's basically it. Click on save. Now click on schedule, proposal, start immediately and schedule. And now we can check the proposal and navigate into this one. Scroll down a bit and scroll to the right. Here you can now see the system would post the cash discount during the actual payment. So this is fine. We will now go back and back again, select the line and click on schedule payment, start immediately in schedule. If we now go into the payment, we can see the system now posted a debit to the payables domestic account. And on the other hand, we received a cash discount, which was posted to this account over here. Let's look in our notes section. So before we set here with a gross method, if we receive a cash discount, exactly this account was derived that you can see over here now as well. And also you can see that those six cents over here are actually 19% of the discount over here. So round it a bit, but it comes to the 19%. As you remember, we posted the invoice with a tax code of 19% taxes. And the tax calculation for our discount received is actually controlled by the setting I have shown you before in the system. Let me quickly show this to you again. So in the backend system for the global company code data, you can see we did not select your discount base is net value. Let's go back and look at our notes. So this actually means that in the gross method, we will post the cash discount deduction in the invoice document as you've seen before. And then here with the payment, we have this tax adjustment of six cents. And that's basically it. Now we will take a look at the net method. So for the net method, we will first change the company code settings in our backend system via OBY6 transaction code. Now double click on the company code and over here we will set now discount basis net value for the tax calculation. Hit on save. Now let's go back into Fiori and see this in action. So we will now again create a purchase order via manage purchase orders. Let's deselect the company code and hit on go. And we will copy the one we just created like that. So far so good. If we scroll down again, we can see here we got the payment terms, so 2% discount within 14 days. So this is fine. And please be aware that right now we have here a trading good. So this is a good which is valued at the moving average price. We can also check this. Let me just open a new window and navigate to MM03, display material, insert a material number. I don't go. Then we select here accounting one for our plan 1010. And if we scroll down here, you can see that the price control is set to the moving average price. So please be aware of this because we will do the same also for the standard price and then you will see the difference. So far so good. We will now order the item. This is fine. We will copy the purchase order number and go to post goods received for purchasing document. Insert the purchasing document. That's basically it. Now we will include 
the storage location, mark the material over here and hit on post. And you can see the material document was created successfully. Now next off we navigate again to create supplier invoice. Here we insert the invoicing date and the posting date, a reference and our invoicing party. And then we will first switch here via show more to another document type. So as you know, the document type will then decide whether the net or the gross procedure for our discounts is being applied. This time we will say invoice net. Then we will scroll down again and include here our purchase order. Hit on check and the invoice is now green. We can also check again the payment section. Okay, the payment terms were applied. So we can click on post. Here you can now see the invoice document. And if we navigate to journal entries, we can see we have here an accounting entry. So let's go to related applications, manage journal entries, new version, and we are forwarded to the journal entry. So let's look at this journal entry. Over here you can see already with posting the invoice, we do not only have here a liability to our vendor and the goods received invoice received account was cleared, but also you can see that the system posted here 30 cents to the inventory trading good account. So it actually already with the invoice subtracts the 2% cash discount from our profit and loss account. And on the other hand, it posted here the 30 cents, so the 2% of our net value to a clearing account. And if we take a look at our notes again, this is exactly here in the net method, this clearing account we defined and customizing before, as you can see, 2175 and four zeros is this account over here. So now let's copy this document number over here. And let's see what happens if we conduct a payment run via manage automatic payments. Select this one. Now let's click on create parameter, run date identification, create, insert our company code. Next payment date, I will set it now to June again, so that the payment is due. Our payment method, see per credit transfer, our supplier. And also in the free selection section, I will now go to the document number and insert our document, so our journal entry. So far so good, we will click on save, click on schedule, proposal, start immediately in schedule. You can see the proposal was processed. Let's look at the proposal. And here we can see if we navigate into this one, all looks fine. So if we scroll to the right again, we have here our 17 euro and the cash discount is already included over here as well. Now let's actually process this payment. Let's go back, back again, select the line, schedule payment, start immediately in schedule. And we can see the payment was processed. Let's navigate into this one again, payments, and over here we can see the payment document that was created by the system. Let's inspect this document, manage journal entries new version. And if we scroll down now, we can see on one hand, our liability was now cleared. So there is a debit to the vendor account, thereby it's cleared. We have a bank transfer of 1755. And also this clearing account is now cleared as well. So the 30 cents were credited. And this is the whole difference. So as you see in the gross method during the invoice posting, we did not post to a clearing account, but only with the payment, the cash discount was deducted. But here on the other side with the invoice, we already posted to a clearing account. And this was mainly because the cash discount was deducted from our inventory account. And now with the payment, the clearing account was cleared again by posting to the other side. Okay, as I told you, there's a difference when we use the net method between posting to stock with a moving average price or a standard price. Let me now show you how this looks like if we utilize a material which is calculated at a standard price. So what do I mean by that? Let's navigate into a material again and we will now choose here the following material, this one, select accounting one, plan 1010. And here we can now see this material is valued at standard price. So let's now take this material and go through the process again. Navigate to manage purchase orders. Now create a new purchase order. Let me just quickly fill this. Currency is zero. Our supplier is this one. Purchasing group. You can see most of the fields are already filled. Now for the item section, we will create a new item again. This time we will insert the material valued at standard price, something like 10. That's basically it. Now we will scroll down and go here to the delivery and invoice section and again change the payment term to this one so that we have a cash discount if we pay in time. And that's basically it. Now let's click on order. Purchase order was created. Let's copy this number and go to goods received for purchasing document, insert the number and that's fine. We need to include the storage location, mark the material as such, include the delivery note and then post. The material document was created. Now let's create the invoice with this application, insert invoicing date, reference the invoicing party, which is our supplier. And then if we click on show more again, we will select here the document type for invoice net again, scroll down, include our purchase order. 
of course we have a balance as of now we need to include here the gross invoice amount of 10 hit on check now all is green in the payment section you can also see here the payment terms with the net discount were applied already so we can click on post you can see here one accounting document was created if we select this one and go to related applications and then to the managed journal entries new version app then we can see in the line item section that this time the system did not subtract our cash discount from the inventory account but it posted here to an account called gain from price variance because we paid in time you can see here the two percent were posted to this account so this means that with the standard price the system will not post to the same inventory account but will post to a separate gain or loss account from price variance and also you can see as with the other example no matter if we have a material valued at the moving average price or the standard price always the clearing account will be debited over here during the initial invoice posting now i will also quickly show you how this looks like in case that we did not pay in time and utilize the net procedure so imagine that the cash discount period is already in past and we forgot to pay in time. I will now quickly create a new invoice in the background and then we will pay this invoice, but this time the cash discount period is already over. So here I created an invoice in the background for you. If we go to show more with the invoice net document type. So we are still in the net procedure. However, this time the cash discount period is already over. So we will go to the journal entry again, click on the journal entry related applications, manage journal entries new version. If we go to the line items, we can see over here the system posted to the clearing account again this time i took a material valued at the moving average price however for what i'm about to show you this will be the same also for materials valued at standard price because no matter if we are talking about the standard price valued material or moving average price valued material if we do not pay in time then there will be a loss of this cash discount using the net method so let's actually copy this journal entry number here and we go to manage automatic payments again Click on create parameter, identification, create. Now we insert our company code, the next payment date, let's say today, payment method, our supplier, free selection, we will again say document number and provide a document number. And that's basically it. Click on save. Now click on schedule, proposal, start immediately in schedule. The proposal was created. We can see that our document was found. So let's go back, back again, select the line, schedule payment, start immediately in schedule. Let's now take the payment, go to payments, and here we have again the payment document. Let's hit on this one. Manage journal entries new version. And if we now go to the line item section, we can see that the system posted here a discount loss to the discount loss net procedure account. And also the system cleared, of course, the clearing account for vendor discounts. This marks the end of the video. Please be aware that for the customer side, it looks the same. If you want me to create another video on the customer side, I can also do this in future. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, thanks for watching the video till the end. It took a lot of effort, so I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where we have a community chat and where I post lots of informative blogs about SAP. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.